The link in description for downloading Android x86 will lead you to this page. Click on download from OSDN. Here you can see the different version of Android x86 available. The latest one is Android 9.0. If you have a 32-bit PC then this is the 32-bit version ISO. In 64-bit PC both 32 and 64-bit version ISO would work. This is the 64-bit version ISO. I will use this one. Once you click the one you need, you should be in a page like this. The download should start automatically. If not click here. For me download has started. Since I have already downloaded the file, I will cancel it this time. Once this download is over, open the link for downloading Rufus and you will be in a page like this. Click on latest version and then click on download. Once the downloads are over, close your browser. Open File Explorer and go to Downloads. Now, you will need a empty USB flash drive of size at least 4 GB or more. Plug it into one of the USB port in your computer. This is the one I am using. Now open Rufus. Make sure that the USB drive you want to use is selected. Then click on this Select button and go to Downloads and select the Android ISO that you downloaded. Click Open. Make sure that partition scheme is MRB, target system is BIOS or UEFI. File system should be FAT32 and quick format should be enabled. Now click on start. You may find a pop-up that some downloads are required. Make sure your computer has internet connection before clicking OK. If this appears, go with write in ISO image mode. A message that all data on the USB drive will be destroyed will appear. It's obvious. Click OK. This takes some time to finish. Once the status bar shows ready, click close. Then eject your USB drive. Remove it and keep it aside. We will need it after some time. Now, in the search bar in start menu, type disk management. Then open create and format hard disk partitions. We will need another disk partition for Android. For this choose a drive which has plenty of free space. I will free up some space from C drive. Right-click whichever drive you want to free up space from. The drive you choose should have plenty of empty space. Then click Shrink Volume. Here, type the amount of space in MB you want to free up for Android. I will be freeing up 32 GB, so I will type 32,000. I recommend you to have at least 16 GB or more space for Android. Then click Shrink. Then, some unallocated space of size you entered will be created. Right click it and then click new simple volume. Click next. Click next again. Click next once more. Now in volume label, type Android. Then click next. Then click finish. A new drive of size you entered with the name Android will be created. Now close this and shut down the PC. This time, as soon as you switch on your computer, you need to repeatedly press and release the key that opens up the boot menu. For most computers this is the F12 key. Try pressing and releasing the F12 key repeatedly just when you press the power button until this boot menu appears. If F12 does not work, you will need to find out which key does that for your computer from Google. Once it opens, choose Linux Lite using the direction keys. You can see the name of your USB drive inside the round brackets. Once it's highlighted, press enter. Now this menu will appear. Use the direction keys to come down till Android installation and press enter. 
you will see a list of the partitions of the hard drive in your computer. Here, use direction keys to come down till the drive we created for Android. You must remember that I created a 32 GB drive and named it Android. This is it. After it's highlighted, press enter. In this menu use direction keys to come down till ext4 and press enter. Now use direction keys to highlight yes and press enter. In this menu too, press enter when yes is highlighted. Same with the next one, come to yes and press enter. Now installation will begin. Once it's over, in this menu, you can choose to reboot or run Android. I recommend to reboot once. As soon as the display goes off, start repeatedly pressing and releasing the key that opens up BIOS of your computer. For most computers it is the F2 key. Repeatedly press and release it until this menu appears. If F2 does not work try to find out which is the key to open BIOS for your computer from Google. Once this menu appears, use the direction keys to go to the boot tab here. Then come down to Android here and use F5 key to bring it one step down. Just make sure that Windows Boot Manager is above Android. Then go to exit tab using the direction keys and press enter after exit saving changes is highlighted. Again press enter. Now your computer will reboot into Windows. Windows may try to do a disk check. Don't do anything and wait for it to finish. You will soon see your Windows desktop. From now on whenever you turn on your computer, it will boot into Windows. Now, I will show you how to boot into Android. First shut down from Windows. Once shut down, you can remove your USB drive or you can do that later whenever you want. This time we will boot into Android. As soon as you turn on your computer, repeatedly press and release the boot menu button which was F12 for me as we did in the beginning until this menu appears. This team used direction keys to come down till Android and press enter. This way your computer will boot into Android. Press enter in this menu again. This will take some time as it's booting for the first time. Here click start. You can connect to a Wi-Fi if you want but I will skip this. Click continue. Here you can set the time and date or you can do that later even. Click next once it's done. Click more and then click accept. You can set a pattern, pin or password for Android. I will not do that now. Click skip anyway. Select a home app from Best2. And there you go, this is Android for your computer. If you want to shut down, hold the power button for about 3 seconds and release it. This power menu will appear where you can shut down from Android. <laughs> 